Hello, Brenton with All of Octane here, and in this video, I am at the 2023 St. Louis Auto Show. I'm super excited to be here. I'm excited to review some cars, give you some of my thoughts and opinions about the new models that are coming out, and hopefully you guys enjoy this video and learn something new. Okay, so the first test of this theory, and I did run some tests to try to figure out how I wanted to do this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna hold the bungee cable in the hand slot. I'm not gonna apply any pressure. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull straight up on the luggage scale to see how many pounds of pressure it takes to pull the lift gate up, basically once it starts moving. Alright, and that one's at 11.3. I did a couple tests and I got anywhere from 10 to 12. So 11 seems about right. It takes about 11.3 pounds of pressure to pull that gate up. Yep. So I keep on averaging between 10 and 11 pounds to pull that lift gate up. So let's go try another lift gate. So this is where things get tricky. On this particular Ram 2500, I cannot actually open the tailgate because there is no power to the vehicle. So there probably is a way to do so, although I have asked the floor attendants before and they don't actually know how to do it. So if you don't have power to your vehicle and you have an electric tailgate, there is no way to open this tailgate. The TRX that I was testing had a soft close or a soft open and it still had power to it, which is why you could open the tailgate. This one, however, I can't test the pressure because I can't open the gate. Okay, so here's a Ram Rebel tailgate. This one has the split open functionality and it also has a soft open so if I did that it comes down softly. However, in my opinion this one feels a lot heavier to hold up so we're going to test that. Again I'm going to hold the thing in the hand spot where you would lift your hand and then I'm going to pull on it to see how much pressure that one takes. Again going straight up and just brake strength so once it starts moving Yeah, that one's a lot more. That's taking 14. Yep, 13.7. So that takes an extra pound of strength just to pull that one up. Okay, so last year on my Honda Ridgeline video, I've got a ton of comments and a ton of flack about my opinion on the tailgate. So this year, I'm going to test it. Uh, I do believe it is one of the heaviest tailgates out there. And here's how I'm going to try to prove it. It doesn't have a soft open, for one thing. And then two, I'm going to perform the same test that I did on the TRX so far. And I'm going to hold the uh, bungee cable in place. I'm going to pull just straight up until the gate lifts. So there's some sort of lift. Seventeen point nine. That is like four pounds more than the TRX. Let's try it one more time. Seventeen pounds. So I have proven that the Honda Ridgeline tailgate is much heavier than all the trucks out there. Now you know. All right, so this is the Ford F-150 Lightning tailgate test. Now I did learn from a GM representative that the tailgates are spring-loaded, which determines whether the gate can come down softly or not. Fascinating information to know. So with that in mind, check this out. F-150 Lightning, that does not have the spring-loadedness that you would think it should have. That is actually really, that comes down Pretty, pretty hard. So let's test its strength on how much it takes to lift this thing up. Same test, holding the bungee cable into the slot where you would pull it in. Fourteen point seven. So about comparable to the ring. Let's try one more time. It's not bad. Honda Ridgeline, still heavier. 
for kicks and giggles, let's try the ranger. Hard open. Okay, so here's kind of a neat cheat. This is an F-150 Lariat, and apparently with the Lariat package and above, there is a soft open and close feature that is hands-free. Check this out. So I can hit this button, and the gate will come down. Soft, right? Epic stuff. And then if I hit the button again, it goes back up by itself. That is one really cool feature and something where you don't even really have to test the weight strength of how much how heavy it is to get up. But that being said, the gate will catch itself as you pull it up. So let's try that. Again, simple push down to go down. And that's only a 9.9. .9. But again, check this out. As you pull it up or push it up, It'll catch, and then you just let go. That is a really cool feature. Okay, so now we've got a Toyota Tundra tailgate test. This one has a spring-loaded soft open. So if I hit the button, it will come down. It comes down pretty fast. But let's test its pull strength to go back up. pretty light at 7.5. Let's try that one more time just to be sure. Five point nine. Not quite sure, but let's just say it's six overall or seven. That is a really light tailgate to push up. Well done Toyota. Alright in true competitive form the Chevrolet Play Silverado High Country has a soft and soft to the lowest tail. You can simply push the button, here it comes down nicely. Hello, Shell. My name is Chelsea. I'm one of the product specialists here at Chevrolet. And we'll still test the ball strength. It's very minimal for sure. Here at Chevrolet is shown in the white metallic tri-clean. 6.7, super light. 